What up guys? Hello. And I'm in a good mood today because I start my diet break today. So super excited, all of the carbs. Um, but yeah, you saw a little bit of my morning. I get up and I do my um, 40 minutes of cardio. I get it done in the morning just because it fits my schedule and it, it just, yeah, like it fits my schedule. So I just like to get up, get the cardio over with. I do um, do my fast, <laughs> I do do my cardio fasted. So I will do that. And then I do my stretching routine. Alexa, play chill music. Here's a station for chill music, chill electronic, on Amazon Music. Alexa, next song. about 15 minutes to do, but those are all my stretches that I am currently doing during my stretching routine. Stretching is very, very important, especially because um, I'm an athlete and I need to make sure, mostly because of my hips, my hips are unaligned, so stretching them keeps them in place because I went to a chiropractor and he fixed them, but it's like my job to like keep it there, you know, keep my keep my hips staying there. Um, and it just puts me in a really good mood for the morning. Like I feel like doing my cardio puts me in like a really good mood. And then doing my stretching is kind of like my meditation time. And yeah, so let's get on with the rest of the day here. Starting off my diet break with greens. There we go, plus 40 grams of cream of wheat. This is really awesome because today I just literally have a ton of carbs and my fat is lowered and my protein, so this has no fat in it at all. Meal one of diet break right here is going down. This is 60 grams of carbs. like. Oh my gosh, I think I'm in heaven right now. Like I'm freaking out. Is this real life? Yes, it is. OMG. Um, sorry, I'm just <laughs> really happy to be eating all these carbs. So I have bananas, apples. I have cream of wheat down there. And I topped it with some cinnamon and just a little bit of Walden Farm syrup. And there we go. Starting off my diet break with a ton of fruit. gym and on my diet break my protein needs to be high quality so I'm gonna get in this ISO here for post-workout and then I'm gonna eat a few rice cakes because what's well, zero fat zero fat all carbs here so I ended up making this little spread here which I just put some Walden on the ice in the ISO here, and then I'm gonna top it on top of these. Another great food for refeed days is rice. 
and I've been eating a ton of ton of this rice. You know, rice has zero fat in it. It's just straight carbs here. So this is, I'm gonna eat a ton of this during my diet break. I don't even know how to start this. <laughs> okay. Same way we always start. Hello, them. I know, we're just like in a different environment. It kind of feels different. Okay, hello everybody, I'm Lauren. Coach Kyle. And we are the coaches at Team Cosmic Bodies. And today we're gonna be talking about my diet break, um, why we're doing it, and just yeah, just talking about what a diet break is. Maybe you can put this into your, if you're in a fat loss phase, you can do this too, but yeah. And we can recap on what we've done so far in our fat loss phase and contest prep, mm -hmm. and then a couple tips on some nutrient timing stuff and just tips of how I like to structure refeeds and higher carb days in general. Uh, so let's just recap so far yeah. about what this contest prep has been. I mean, yeah. hopefully you guys have been up, you know, watching the prep updates. Ten weeks, or uh, about 11 weeks now, I guess, yeah. into prep. Ten weeks into prep. Doing a longer contest prep here so I can incorporate these fun things. But yeah, ten weeks into prep. And I have lost around 10 pounds. So starting weight was 143. I'm weighing around 133 now, so I've lost a total of 10 pounds. And yeah, I'm like halfway through prep. Um, give or take. 10 to 15 weeks out, so I'll give you that. Um, so yeah, I'm like halfway through prep here. And we are incorporating a diet break. We're getting me out of the deficit right now. Yeah, so what a diet break is, and we've had past videos about this, um, basically it's just having you know multi-day refeeds even so you could think of it as we are giving her multi-day refeeds and a refeed would be bringing her calories up to give or take maintenance bringing her out of the deficit to help with cortisol and stress recovery training etc etc psychologically and we've been doing this the entire 10 weeks i mean you've been dieting yeah. for like five low days two high days yeah um and what I mean by that is carbohydrates, because that's how we like to structure our refeed and our multi-day refeeds. So we've been always been doing at least two, sometimes yeah. even three. But the reason why we're it's called a diet break is because it's longer than three days. Yeah, longer than two or three so days. So what we're doing is for seven to 10 days, I think we're gonna do nine, just how we planned it out here, but I'm gonna do nine days doing this diet break. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like it's gonna help with everything that Kyle just said, my hormones and um, yeah, my hormones, stress, like he said, and it's gonna help keep my muscle too because guys, I'm trying to keep all of my muscle during this contest prep. Yeah. It's gonna help with my recovery and just my performance in the gym. Like I'm already feeling the benefits from this diet break and I'm feeling really, really good. Really your good. third day? Yeah, I'm on my third day. Yeah. So Kyle has me right now hitting 300 grams of carbs, which is like, whoo, that's a lot of food for, for me right now because my low days were 120. It, but what we are doing is we're actually lowering my protein and fat is still low and it's just carbs, carbs, carbs. So during this video, I'm showing you guys what type of food I am going for. If you watch the video, it's like I'm not eating a ton of fat fatty carbs fat no cheat meals no no cheat meals no refeeds yeah. with sushi i'm not i'm keeping it really really we're counting good. everything yeah so yeah her low days were getting to about 120 carbs 40 fat and about 145 protein i think and then mm -hmm. her high days weren't were around 240 carbs sometimes 275 200 even sometimes so they've been in the 200 so what we're doing is because we have plenty of time so don't be using her numbers or her cardio or no. whatever you know you can take a little bit of these ideas and, and apply it uh, but it's definitely gonna be different because it's like what was your starting point what do you look like now how many weeks out are you from the show uh, how much muscle do you have your energy balance and metabolism your neat non-exercise activity thermogenesis you know her genetics there's so much going on her training volume like I, I just, have more muscle now too. Yeah. So like, yeah, I, I have more muscle so now. So her refeeds are going to be different than everyone else's. So I think three, we're going to do five days at 300 and then we're going to do four days at 250. Yeah. 
That's seeing, what I just seeing yeah. how I'm doing, you know, so far the scale is not going up a ton. I'm like really just holding steady you here. Weight a little bit the first day. I drop weight the first See, day. See, what happens is like we're filling up her glycogen stores. We're using the carbs. Her training is going to go up. And when we fill up her glycogen stores, at a certain point, you're going to spill over and uh, go over those glycogen stores. So not right yet, now she's though. looking super <laughs> tight. She's getting a little, lot of water retention going away. Cortisol's, you know, going down. Things are feeling good. You and then sooner or later, she's going to start spilling over a little bit and she'll get a little softer, which is what we want. I want her to lose a little bit. I want the scale to, I want to lose a little bit of lines. I want her scale to go up a little bit. And so, yeah, and then it's just going to help us push and grind and get back to the low days and kept cardio the same. I think you have a deload in yeah. a week or and, two. And or this is like, I. You just had a deload. And I just want to say, like, I am not feeling bad right now. Like, at all. And I was like, Kyle, should we really, like, do this? Because I want to go, go, go. Like, I want to crush, crush, crush. I want to start. I haven't even, like, had those, like, prep feels yet where I'm super tired. And, you know, Kyle is just being proactive about this. He's being proactive. You know, it's, it's better to do it now um, than yeah. when I am feeling just yeah. so, so worn out. It's better to be out. proactive instead of reactive and just be ahead of the game. Keep her hormones in a good place. We have a long season ahead. And she's just so ahead of the game. Like, we have time on our side. Yeah. So maybe your diet break could have been five or seven days. Um, maybe you've been dieting longer and you need two weeks. So it just it depends on a lot of different variables. But uh, some of the tips I had was um, we, I, I was like, okay, get, make sure you're getting super greens basically every day. Um, I want you to be eating fruit in the morning, especially the first few days. Uh, so I could help her replenish her glycogen or uh, her liver glycogen stores because if you ate fruit like that first refeed day and you can use these tips in nutrient timing in general in your fat loss phases in regular refeed days but yeah we like to start with a little bit of fruit some fruit toast go to liver glycogen first you know they're they're gonna be moving quicker than hitting some type of starch mm -hmm. and then I was like okay let's move to mostly rice and you know still eat fruits and vegetables like you have been doing mm -hmm. um, because we're bringing even protein down a lot, did we say what your refeed days were? So 300 carbs, 40 fat, and 115 protein. I brought her protein down even more. Why? Um, just because women do really well with uh, keeping muscle and, you know, it's just for these nine days. And I'd rather eat more carbs. Eat more carbs, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it's okay if you lower my protein by like 15 grams or whatever, because yeah. that's just like, I can eat more carbs. Um, and yeah, like you said, women can Yeah, and then, you know, muscle. what we're doing is we're keeping it pretty clean as far as the carbs of low fat, high carb, and even low protein. Like, yeah. it's like, hey, don't be using too much PB fit. Don't be using too much, you know, some of that high stuff. High quality protein. I want him, yeah, I want her to be using high quality protein, making sure she's using whey and isolate and getting animal products and like just high leucine, high quality amino acids. Yeah. Um, so guys, like, this is this is why I love longer contest preps. This is why like I preach these longer contest preps because you can just have so much fun with your prep and you can incorporate these things. That's why I'm feeling so good right now. I don't feel like I'm being run into the ground. She will. Like, she will. I will I mean, get no to that what, point. No matter how well orchestrated yeah. I do this this prep and orchestrate it really when well. When I get down to 125, when I hit the, be... when I when I'm in the 120s, I know I'm going to start feeling that way. But. I'm just really happy how good I'm feeling so far and it this diet experience. break is kind of to hold me back a little bit too just because hey I think I don't have to get as, as low in my body weight as I did at these prior in 2017 I think I put on a lot more muscle and when we're looking at my physique it's like your glutes are almost in and we're doing a better so, job of preserving muscle this time around yeah so that's helping. We're yeah, still like not no hit. I mean, I'm just walking. We're still like seeing some progress from like the 2015, 2016 I think so. years of taking time off. But yeah, it was yeah, really, it, really. I'm in, I'm shocked. I mean, everyone's kind of shocked, right? Of the type of progress we made. All because of this guy right after, here. <laughs> after she won her pro card, and how much muscle she was able to regain, how quickly, and then yeah. really add so much muscle to your upper body, and even like. Your legs and glutes, just to do that in a year, that was that was impressive. Yeah, because we're noticing these things now. I know we are. As far as it's, it's 
I love this. It's so much fun. So we don't want to make this too long. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. If you guys have any questions about any questions about a diet break, comment down below because during this time, I'll be making obviously a lot of videos about this. So if you have any questions, please comment down below. We'll make sure to answer you in these in these videos coming up and I'll make sure I'll do a full day of eating for you guys too and what I eat on a diet break and stuff like that. So Yeah. I'm I'm just thinking if I missed anything, but I think that was oh, we hit everything. That was pretty pretty solid. Like this uh, video. <laughs> like the video, subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.